y'all. I'm back at it again with another hair review from Allie Pro Hair. But I did get this off of Amazon. And sad to say, I paid my own coin for this wig. This cute 99J T part wig came in one day, child. Look at that lace. It's definitely not transparent, but you know what we can fix that. That's the parting in the middle. It goes about maybe six inches to the back, which is okay. It has two clips in the front, one clip in the back, and it fits very snug on your head. That's for sure. So let me brush it out and see. This little... <laughs> under bob or whatever that is gotta go we're gonna fix that though so now i'm just putting it on my head just to see how it looks and what it's giving see what that lace is doing but you know that lace is kind of light skin honey so we're gonna have to do something about that one so of course y'all know i like to use ghost bond glue to lay my wigs i don't know it just lasts for for me like two three days maybe even a week you know when you want to have not worry about your wig lifting but not necessarily have it on forever you know what i'm saying that's pretty good i'm going to spread that glue and make it thin as possible so that each layer can dry fast and easy I sprayed a little even spray off camera and now I'm gonna take some foundation and just put it on top of that wig cap so that the colors will match up and that the melt will be much more seamless. I took that even spray and sprayed it over the um, foundation to set it and seal it so that it would stay. Now it's time for the main event, girl. Let's get this wig on her head. So, like I said, it's kind of tight, so I'm pulling and pulling, trying to pull it down to get it to fit on my big old head. It's definitely not big head girl friendly. I will say that. So, you probably would want to size up a cap. Okay, now that the lace is laid, I'm gonna take that elastic band off. Now I'm gonna spray that hairline with the um, Evan spray again so that I can hit it with that hot comb. I realized it wasn't even plugged up shaking my head. So now I guess I'll plug it up so it can get hot. In the meantime, I decided to go ahead and cut the lace. 
I like to cut it in three separate sections. I don't know, for some reason it makes it easier for me to cut the lace correctly. Now that I got the lace cut, I'm going to put a little foundation on that lace to continue to blend it in so that the colors match up. I'm going to continue to flat iron this wig off camera and I'll be right back once I'm finished. Mm -hmm. 